I know you're getting ready to go out to the range, but before you do, there's a couple safety rules we want to go over. Our first rule is always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. So, don't point your gun at anything you don't want to shoot. Second rule is always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Now, ready to shoot means your sights are lined up and you're ready for that gun to go off. Our third rule is always keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to use it. Unloaded means completely unloaded. There's nothing in the magazine, the magazine is out of the gun, there's nothing in the chamber, and there's nothing in the cylinder. If you're renting a gun from us and you're not familiar with it or you're not familiar with your own gun, please ask for help. We'll be happy to give assistance. So let's go look at some of the other range rules. All ranges are different and have different rules, so be sure to read them thoroughly. If you have any questions, please ask now. It's easier here than in a noisy range. And if you don't see range rules posted, please ask for a copy. We also require both eye and ear protection. For children, we recommend both earplugs and earmuffs. Either the front desk or your range officer will tell you where to shoot. So let's go have some fun. All right, let's go to lane number four. All right, I'm going to go over for the folks how to show that a semi-automatic is clear and ready to be put on the table. So when we unbag the firearm, the first thing you want to do is just check inside the bag which way the firearm's pointed. In this case, it's actually not pointed downrange. So I'm going to take an opportunity now to turn the whole bag. So I haven't touched the firearm. Now the firearm's pointed downrange. I'm going to take the gun out of the bag with the muzzle pointed downrange, finger off the trigger. In this case, I'm going to take out the magazine since it's semi-automatic. I'm going to check in the magazine well and in the chamber itself to make sure there's nothing in there. If the slide were closed, I would lock the slide back, do the same thing, check the magazine, check inside the chamber. Now, there's two ways to set this gun on the bench pointed down range. One is with the ejection port pointed up so everybody can see in there and know that it's unloaded. Or the other way is with the injection port down, where now you can't see if there's anything in the chamber, right? And nobody else can either. Nobody else can either. So in this case, let's always remember to keep it with the ejection port up, with the slide locked back, magazine out. Now, we've gone over the semi-automatic. If you want to go over the revolver for the folks, that'd be great. So Barry showed you how to make a semi-automatic safe. I'm going to show you the same thing with a revolver. Mine's pointing in a safe direction. Pull it out, finger off the trigger. I'm going to hit the cylinder release. Pop the cylinder out. Check, there's nothing in there. Put it on the table facing down range and we'll be ready to go. Awesome. Now, one thing to remember is whenever the target is back and we're checking targets, we always want the gun exactly in this situation or what you saw us do with the semi-automatic or whenever we're changing shooters or whenever we're loading or reloading the firearm. So again, whenever the target is back, we're checking the target, whenever we're changing shooters or whenever we're reloading. The number one rule is there is never a loaded gun sitting on the bench by itself. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Awesome. At indoor ranges, we're a little spoiled here because there shouldn't be a reason to go past the firing line. The target system itself takes the target up and back for you. Outdoor ranges are completely different. In an outdoor range, the range officer has to call a cease fire and you have to hear his instructions before you are allowed to go out downrange and check your target. When it's time to change targets, remember to keep the center of the bullseye of your target in line with the muzzle of your gun when your arms are extended. The reason being, if your target is too high, you're going to be shooting up into the ceiling. If it's too low, you're going to be shooting off into the floor. And if it's on either side, you might be hitting your neighbor's targets, which they might not appreciate. When you want to take a pause between your shooting, take your finger off the trigger, gun pointed down range, and simply rest your elbows onto your rib cage. When reloading your firearm, remember to keep your gun pointed directly down range. Directly down range means parallel to the floor and parallel to the walls. I'm 
love shooting a brand new gun. One of the most fun things at the range is letting your friend share it with you. Before we change, I'm going to actually make sure the gun is fully unloaded, action open, and I'm going to keep the ejection port straight up. Then I'm going to fully step out of the booth and let Jeff step in. Good shit, man. Thanks. Ceasefire! When you hear a ceasefire, immediately take your finger off of the trigger, bring your elbows down to your side while keeping the muzzle pointed down range, and then wait for instructions from the range safety officer. Keep firearm pointed down range, go ahead and lock your actions back, and clear your firearms. Please step back. In this case, I call the cease fire. But remember, everyone on the firing range is a safety officer. So if you see anything dangerous that you feel uncomfortable with, call a cease fire. Your range officer will take it from there. There are many different reasons to call a cease fire on a range. Just remember, you can call the cease fire if you see anything dangerous or something you feel is just a little bit off. For instance, somebody drops something over the fire line, goes to retrieve it. Cease fire! Immediately call a cease fire. Then wait for the range safety officer to come in and sort it out. What are some other reasons you might call a cease fire? What happens if somebody drops their gun? Call a cease fire. What happens if somebody's crossing the fire line for any other reason? Call a cease fire. What happens if they're pointing their gun in an unsafe direction? Definitely call a cease fire. Remember, everyone on the range is a safety officer, and it's up to you. Courtesy and common sense go a long way on the range. Here are a few more important tips that help ensure that you have a safe and enjoyable time, and perhaps you'll make a new friend or two along the way. Never touch a firearm for any reason if someone's forward of the firing line. Cease fire! Always walk around someone else's equipment. Never step over it. Never leave your equipment where someone has to walk around it. Never touch someone else's equipment without their permission. Don't let your ejected cases or holes hit your neighbor. If in doubt, ask. Shooters and range operators are some of the friendliest people you can meet. They'll be happy to lend a hand. Introduce yourself to your neighbors, the people shooting next to you. They may become your next shooting partner. I want to welcome you to the range and hope you have a great time. Remember the three safety rules. Always keep the firearm pointed in a safe direction. Finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot and always keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to use it. Make sure the action is open whenever it's on the table. We hope you take firearm safety as seriously as we do in the firearm industry. And when you're on the range, remember, firearm safety depends on you.